Lawrence Kaltenbrunner took the stand in his own defense. He was the highest ranking official of the dreaded SS and the Gestapo, the secret police, to have survived the war. Kaltenbrunner denied any knowledge of the crimes committed by Hitler's barbarous security police. Did you have any personal knowledge or anything personal to do with any of the atrocities which occurred in concentration camps during the war? None. And therefore, uh, you assume no responsibility before this tribunal for any such atrocity, correct? None. No, I do not assume any responsibility in that regard. And in that connection, uh, such testimony as has been given here by Polar Eagle, for example, to the effect that you witnessed executions at Mortazen, uh, you deny. Correct? I was already told yesterday of the testimony of Hohlriegel. I consider the statement that I ever saw a gas chamber, either in operation or at any other time, wrong and incorrect. Very good. You uh, had no personal knowledge of and did nothing personal about the program for the extermination of the Jews. Is that correct? Except to oppose it. No, except that I was against it. From the moment I knew of this as a fact, I had convinced myself of it. I raised objections with Hitler and Himmler, and the final result was that they were stopped. And therefore, you assume no responsibility for anything done in connection with the program for the extermination of the Jews, right? And does the same thing apply to the program for forced labor? Right? Yeah. And the same thing applies, does it not, uh, to uh, the raising of the Warsaw Ghetto? Yeah, boy. Are you acquainted with Johann Kander, who makes this affidavit? I remember Kaltenbrunner three times. What year? Between 42 and 43. Question. Tell us, in short, what did you think about these visits of Kaltenbrunner which you described? That is, what did you see, what did you do, and when did you see that he was or was not present at such executions? Answer. Kaltenbrunner was accompanied by Eigruber, Schultz, Zerise, Backmayer, Streetwiser, and some other people. Kaltenbrunner went laughing in the gas chamber. Then the people were brought from the bunker to be executed. And then all three kinds of executions, hanging, shooting in the back of the neck, and gassing were demonstrated. After the dust had disappeared, we had to take away the bodies. Is that true or false, defendant? Under my oath, I wish to state solemnly that not a single word of these statements is true. Was responsible for the order to kill all inmates at Mauthausen concentration camp shortly before the end of the war. <coughs> Did you understand the question, defendant? Yeah. Yes. You asked me who had given the order for the killing of the inmates at Mauthausen at the end of the war, and to that I reply that such an order is unknown to me. I gave only one order with regard to Mauthausen, and that was to the effect that the entire camp and all internees were to be surrendered to the enemy without ill treatment. This order was dictated to me in the presence of the witness, Dr. Whitehall, and taken to Mauthausen by a courier officer. I draw your attention to the statement of Dr. Whitehall in which he confirms that fact. A questionnaire has been sent to a second person by my defense counsel. I requested a similar statement from him, but it is still unanswered. 
I didn't ask you about that order. I asked you about an order to kill all inmates at Mauthausen concentration camp shortly before the end of the war. Who was responsible for that order? Were you? Nein. Ich habe diese Frage auch schon Now, this time, you're, this time you are acquainted with the person who tells the story, Z. Rice. You were acquainted with him? Z. Rice? Jawohl, Z. Rice. Yes, I knew Z. Rice. And now at the middle of the next page. Paragraph begins. According to an order by Himmler, I was to liquidate all prisoners on behalf of SS Opengruppenführer Dr. Kaltenbrunner. The prisoners were to be led into the tunnels of the factory Burkristow, and only one entrance was to be left open. Then uh, this entrance... I have not yet found the passage. A gassing plant was built in concentration camp Mauthausen by order of the former garrison doctor, Dr. Kresbach, camouflaged as a bathroom. Prisoners were gassed in this camouflaged bathroom. Apart from that, a specially built automobile commuted between Mauthausen and Gusen, in which prisoners were gassed while traveling. The idea for the construction of this automobile was Dr. Wysicki's SS Untenstufenführer and pharmacist. I myself never put any gas into this automobile I only drove it, but I know that prisoners were being gassed. The gassing of the prisoners was done on the urging of SS Hauptsubenfuhrer Dr. Kresbach. Paragraph. Everything that we carried out was ordered by the Reich Security Main Office, furthermore by SS Obergruppenfuhrer Mueller or Dr. Kaltenbrunner the latter being chief of the security police. It's false. It is false. I have never given an order to the Mauthausen camp with the exception of that one order which I was entitled to do on the strength of special powers and for the contents and transmission of which I have offered sufficient evidence. Mauthausen was never under my jurisdiction in any other way and I could not issue any such orders. The prosecution knows perfectly well, and it must have been proved to them by dozens of testimonies, that I had never had any authority over Mauthausen. Well, defendant, let's get on to the Warsaw Ghetto. Do you recall from the evidence before this tribunal that some 400,000 Jews were first put into the ghetto, and then in the final action, uh, Stroop cleared out about 56,000, of which more than 14,000 were killed. Do you recall that evidence? I do not recall any details of this statement, but I know about this matter I have already stated today. When the leader of the underground in Warsaw was captured in June or July 43, he was flown directly to Kaltenbrunner in Berlin. Are those statements true or false, defendant? These statements are without exception wrong. I will just like all the other statements of all the other persons that have been read to you today. Is that correct? Is that correct? This statement is not correct, it is not true, and can be refuted. That is what you have said about all the other statements I have read to you today. Is that not so? Mr. Prosecutor, I must... Is that so? Yes, if you bring false accusations against me, I must declare them to be false. I cannot say yes to everything of which you accuse me just because the prosecution is wrong in determining who is Himmler's representative here. All right, go ahead. 
Say whatever you want. 